we're usually too excited to to share our thoughts with each other and with our viewers. And so sometimes our words overlap. That's true. They Which do. is a polite way of saying we interrupt each other sometimes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very polite way of saying we the do. Overlapping, the overlapping. The overlapping yeah. of our of our thoughts. I like what you said there because actually the uh, podcast that we are doing today, this video, and the next video that is going to come after it later this week are actually also going to overlap as well. They will. Be, they'll be connected. They're going to be connected. How are they going to be connected? Well, there's going to be a Pinot Noir on each of these, but they are from different states. That is true. Different states. Different states. So the first one we have is from Oregon. So we have an Oregon Pinot Noir for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Erath. Erath? Erath? I think so. Erath? I don't know. Earth? Earth? Oh, no. I like Earth. You should go with Earth. No. <laughs> I wonder if that's where that came from. I always from. thought it was Erath Pinot yeah. Noir. Erath? Erath? Pinot Noir, uh, it, as we said, from Oregon. It's uh, 2016. That's correct. correct? Yes. Okay. So um, another so weird yeah. piece of synergy to the podcast we will be doing in a little yes. bit. His is also 2016, 2016. What Keith brought to the tasting right. table. So and, uh, completely unplanned. But sometimes, like you said, they yeah. just come together, and it's and magic happens. Yeah, it is from uh, like I said, they're. Uh, <laughs> their grapevines <laughs> uh, take place. They are grown. <laughs> I don't know why I like they lost what place. I was going to say, but it's uh, Dundee, Oregon. Okay. So that, like I said, they've been around since uh, 1967. So they've, uh, this is not their first rodeo uh, by, <laughs> by any means. And uh, I heard about this wine a long time ago, actually from our sister-in-law. Uh, I think they were in, uh, I was talking about this earlier in the week. I think it was either some of the vintners or maybe the head, maybe it was Mr. Aerith himself. I don't know. I can't remember that part, but they were in for something. It was like a convention and she got kind of turned on in this wine. And that was the very first time I had it. And I remember liking it quite a bit. And I've, I've bought bottles throughout the years. and I do not remember having uh, this one in a while. I've, so. Yeah, I've had this. I remember uh, back, remember Brew and Vine? Oh yeah, yeah, an Oracle and Orange Grove. Sure. I think back then I I brought uh, I bought an Aerith wine. I think it was the Pinot, but it may have been something else. It was probably for Thanksgiving, but Whoa. but a long time ago. So, but yes, I and and uh, yeah. So I'm definitely familiar with this particular uh, vineyard. Just not um, just haven't had it in a while. So all right. Well, now the it's other gonna thing take uh, us a little while longer to have it. That's true. Well, this is going to take a little bit because it's not on the table. I don't know where it is. I have the glasses. We have the glasses, which are fine. But if, if we don't have the bottle, it's that's not going to work. Probably protected. Probably being watched <laughs> it, over. I bet. It, <laughs> I bet. Yes. There we go. Oh, wow. He's got his nose right up against it. <laughs> he's got his nose all up in it. <laughs> uh, almost a little too close. But he's trying to get a little bit of the, you know, he's trying he to is. get through the glass. He's, he's cleaning off the bottle a little bit for us. <laughs> oh, God, he, he, you can see the streaks. <laughs> there's like the oxygen coming out of his nose. Well, he's been the standing like that for a long time. He's got an itch. He's like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> he's like, please take this bottle from me. All right. We're going to take the bottle from you. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. I notice you have a uh, wine opener. I do, yeah. Of course, any good Pinot Noir you need a wine opener for. There is not any kind of bottle worth its salt. <laughs> if you don't need a bottle opener, you've really made mistakes. I mean, it's just would be just absolutely ridiculous. Let's see. I've got to got to turn this here, and we got to. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got it That'd be there funny. we go if you actually needed a cork oh, there, did, did you want to smell the cork because it's a cork it's completely a cork <laughs> you know and it doesn't matter that it's not it takes away the romance that's all i'm gonna say oh i'm not saying it affects the wine at all and this is probably one that is not meant to age so i'm assuming that's why they didn't do a cork could be this yeah. is not their most expensive bottle it's usually around 15 to 16 dollars okay um sometimes you'll see it listed for more online but most of the time if you get it either uh, a cost plus or a total wine or even a costco or some if they carry it uh it's usually in that area i think i cut myself i think i cut myself on the cap the cork um the you, cork i mean you never yeah you won't have that happen with a cork <laughs> that's true one <laughs> one danger you won't have to worry about corks don't draw blood but uh but yeah like i said so i'm assuming it's not meant to age but some of their other ones are more expensive they do some other reserve lines and things like that i'm gonna guess those may have corks but I can't say. But maybe not. You never know. They better. At that price, they better. <laughs> I paid good money to have this, have these trees chopped well, down. And the debate goes on about, you know, cork versus uh, uh, screw cap and other type enclosures, real cork, synthetic cork. I'm, that's been something that's, I know, been... 
in, an interesting topic for years, but we've even gone over that topic for years in some of our podcasts, which you can go we back have. to uh, in the archives at aboutbeverages.com right. uh, or even on YouTube. I, we probably Did have we actually some of those videos up. We talked about things? it. We no, talked about it. We okay. discussed it. Uh, yeah. Like, because so, remember there was a cork shortage a long time ago. Oh, and that yeah. was kind of where it came up. And that was where a lot of people turned to the synthetic cork uh, and went that route. And then, like I said, I think for the most part, if you're looking for something to age, it probably should have, you know, like if you're like, oh, I'm going to sell her this for a while, that seems to be the biggest, one of the bigger reasons that you would hope that it would have some sort of cork in it because then it lets a little bit of that air out, the, you know, air out. Yeah, it actually uh, breathes a little bit, whereas the cap yeah. is like a, a, a tight, right. uh, it, yeah, yeah, solid closure. You're getting exactly what this was when we put it in the bottle, yeah. and it's not really going to change too much. So. Yeah. All right, let's get into the uh, specifics of this guy. I actually am pretty happy that I do have my Pinot Noir glasses. This is one of the few good wine glasses I have. Yeah, actually, that's it. That makes it I look won't do it on my darker shirt. than it actually is. Yeah, it's more uh, plum, I would say. Yeah, and, and a little bit. A little red. A little see red through. Um, but, that's, but that's, usually with Pinots, you expect that. You don't, there are, you know, dark, inky Pinot Noirs, but this is more along of what yeah. you sit, uh, expect to see from that, so... <clears throat> Pinot Noir's aroma always take me to a place, a part of the year. They definitely take okay. me to November, yeah, December, and I and I know that's typical because of Thanksgiving is when you usually have a Pinot. That's a, that's a classic pairing, but but they really do. Uh, a, a good Pinot takes me just kind of. To that place in my mind yeah the thing about like like even this one too now that you say that i always a lot of times in a in a i shouldn't just say a good pinot but like i said pinot like that kind of jump out to me i usually always get almost like a cranberry note which kind of makes yeah. me think of thanksgiving there's some yeah, little some extra do. tart along with the other kind of natural like fruit bouquet that you get in there that makes it jump out to me and that's what i kind of look for uh sometimes in a in a pinot noir but this one yeah this has great aroma a little bit of dry dry dried like concentrated fruit mm-hmm I definitely get the black, like black. I was gonna say black currant, raspberry, and I get like a cranberry yeah. in there too, because there's yeah. like a, like I said, I know tart really isn't an aroma, but it like makes my mouth start to water a little bit, and that's kind of what yeah. hits me is that uh, it makes me start to really, my brain says that fla you're gonna get that flavor right. when you have this. Right. So that smells really good. Yeah, I'm very excited about good. that. All right. <clears throat> I think cranberry is a really good call, actually. Um, yeah, I think so. I, I'm it really, really I'm makes getting, me think of like drinking a, not a not cranberry like a hundred percent cranberry juice, but right because I'm getting and now my mouth mouth's watering a little bit, but that, like a cranberry cocktail, yeah, cranberry juice cocktail, that kind of thing where. It's, it's a nice tart in there, but it's yeah. not too heavy, which is kind of what I like about it. Like I said, it's not getting toward that uh, heavier jammy kind of thing. Like I said, it's kind of this nice uh, mid level. I'm getting a little more of a there's a. Uh, some of that like raspberry is kind of almost rising up with like the alcohol a little bit like it's kind of getting a nice bouquet on my soft palate which is kind of nice i'm getting a um, little bit of that like little i wouldn't say it is jammy but i'm getting a little jammy note at the end though that with that kind of those fruits just a little bit of sweet coming out yeah. yeah 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 this is excellent though i really like this like it's just got really good flavor it's not heavy um it's just going to pair well with a lot of things. Like I said, whether you're having it with some cheese or if it's during the, because it's a little bit lighter, I think that's where it can be. I, I like Pinot because it can be a more of a summer type wine. Right. Uh, to me, like I said, Absolutely. so it, it kind of works well throughout the, like I said, whether it's, you know, um, you know, slightly cooler in November here in Arizona, but like, <laughs> which is, which is great. So it works good with that, with all the different food, you know, whether if you've got some things that, you know, have like, you know, sausage and spicy and Turkey and other yeah. kinds of, it like works well with all that. Cause it fights through, but it doesn't add this extra heaviness to it. And that's what I really like about Pinot Noir is you get a lot of flavor, but you can, I mean, I'll have a lot of any kind of wine if it's really good, but like there's something about it that just makes me think like, Oh, I can, I'm gonna have another glass of What's it. You know what I mean, uh, I would Remember? have to reach down here okay. and pull up the bottle, and it would tell me that the alcohol is. Did you want to guess while I'm looking for it here and stalling for time? Okay, I found 13, it. 13. Wow, thirteen point five. You're good. You know, I almost went thirteen. And a half. I thought you were going to do it. That's Dang why it. I was trying to give you time. Uh, I, was like, yeah, no, be I, I was like thirteen two, thirteen four, thirteen and a half. No, it's too high. Thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, very good. Yeah, and it, you can tell that. Like I said, there is some alcohol there, but it's not like. You know, when you it doesn't the, overwhelm as dumb as all. it sounds. Even going up to fourteen, like that can start to make a difference. 14, Sometimes, fifteen, yeah. and, and whatnot. But yeah, uh, yeah. I like and this I, is good. You do have to watch with Pinots. Oh, are, are there going to be uh, hopefully some miles 
drops here. Uh, Possibly, you never know. know. <laughs> um, the uh, Niles, you that, have, that wine spent less Niles. time in the bottle. <laughs> oh, that Nile, Niles. I was saying oh. miles. Oh, I thought you said Niles. from sideways. Oh, yeah, got to be. Some I sideways should just play that whole bit. Yeah. Um, because that you do have to watch out with pinots because if they're too thin, then it then they you, things can get lost. But yeah. but the, no, this is right at that at that good point. It is. Yeah. It is on the it is on the thinner side. <clears throat> yeah, and I normally am not overly overall Oregon versus California. I'll take a California Pinot, but this is I I like this. This, this is, is good. really good, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, because sometimes uh, Oregon can go a little bit too more like toward earthy and spicy and and that's what uh, I was kind of interested in. I in, in nice, my nice recollection, fruit. I could not remember if this one did that because I know that was part of the conversation when we were like Oregon versus California, um, and that was how these this kind of this uh, two part video podcast series started. This being yep. part one where we're trying the Oregon, uh, and the next one being the California. I couldn't remember if this one was more toward like it was a, you know, even though it was an Oregon wine, it's in the kind of California style to some extent, but adding in a little bit of their own, you know, terroir that they've got going yeah. on. Uh, so it's it, it is. There's a little I I don't mind it when that does that too. Like so, just because I, I like different things. Like I don't you know, that was kind of how it always was. Remember coffee? When used, yeah. yeah, when we used to you know be at the tasting table tasting coffee, a lot of times we'd be like, well, this doesn't taste like. How this should? It's Guatemalan. It doesn't taste like a Guatemalan. You and, I'd be, like, and I'd be like, well, it doesn't. But this tastes really interesting and good. You know what I mean? Like, let's call it something. Else. You know, like let's put it in a blend. Put it let's in a blend. Something else yeah. with it. And like I said, yeah. not that I was like fought against on it, but like that was where my brain always was. Was yeah. like, I'm not like beholden to style or to think. You know, I mean, sometimes you are. Like I said, right. obviously a Pinot Noir, I wouldn't want this to be you know as heavy as a Zinfandel or something like. Then that would be right. weird. It'd be like you you really messed up. But like I so said, when it comes to some of the other nuanced things, you'd be like, wow, that Pinot Noir, that's interesting. I like that. That's yeah. different. It does it so. Um, but yeah, I think this is like I said, I'm I'm happy with this purchase, and this is definitely one I will I will keep buying. But uh, at some point, maybe I might want to buy the other one that we will have in our next episode. Oh, I don't know. I hope it's, so. I it's hope very it, uh, possible. I hope it holds up as uh, part of the bargain here. But until then, if you're interested in other wines, it doesn't have to be Pinot Noir. We've had a lot of different things, a lot of summer wines, uh, Sauvignon Blancs, all, all different types of things. Rosés. And uh, all over the gamut, aboutbeverages.com is the place to go. And uh, if you're interested in just videos and no other content whatsoever, because that's the kind of person you are, you can always head to... What is it? Why... No, Dang you. I was yeah. You, you something. YouTube. YouTube. Tube. That's it. Yeah. Tube. Exactly. YouTube. That is a that is a yes. great place to yes. go. Tube you. No YouTube. And if you had wanted to drink along with us, which we are starting to get into that now, we're starting to get rolling. We've got new things here in 2019. If you had wanted to know what we were going to have and wanted to uh, be able to enjoy along with us, taste along with us, give us your notes live. Where could they have gone? Well, they could and should go to. Uh, Twitter. <clears throat> Twitter is the we place. We were tweeting this week. We let everybody know uh, what was going on, the, that we had a theme, uh, that the, the the wines or the beverages that we were going to try, and we will, you know, we'll try to do that at least by Tuesday, which is kind of late notice, but uh, yeah. if we, we'll, we'll eventually, we got to, yeah, we got to, you know, we got to start somewhere. That's better than we, we used to do. We used to do be anything. a few hours before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. So, so, we get get like, so now we're two days ahead. The yeah. goal for me, I think, is I would <clears> like by sometime Monday. Okay. I would I would like that to be the goal because I think that you know a couple days if someone actually does want right. to go look for it or or maybe you know try it with us yeah exactly yep. they can find us but uh, like I said if you ever need to know anything that we might be doing like I said Twitter is the place and uh, that live show that we just talked about happens most Thursdays right five thirty Pacific Twitch TV slash about beverages but as we always say whether we like it or not you should give it a shot. <laughs>